Okay, uh, this video is uh, is a continuation of uh, last um, last video on trait objects in Rust programming language. So let's see whether we can convert this uh, to an asynchronous trait object. Um, so la last video we have we have tried to make a, a trait with which can be implemented on our type and it's a uh, the trait had a method which has a dynamic um, uh, dispatch uh, where we have we pass a function parameters um, through and that function invoke the function um, take our type data and act on it so and also we have seen we can invoke our um, trait function which is implemented for our type <coughs> my data through from a standalone function basically this function can be from external world as well but only thing is the past parameter should implement our trait so so we can see this design pattern in many of the library Rust libraries where they just give this um, a, as an API this invoke function and they make sure that the type is implementing their uh, library trait yeah uh, but our uh, this video call is we need to convert uh, this to a asynchronous trait so let us uh, take a look at that so the first thing is uh, I want to convert this to an asynchronous trait so obviously I need to use this async fn and then just keeping the function as same and all other things as same and let's try with that yeah let's see what the error message we are getting function in traits cannot be declared as async so it says stopper then here uh, we cannot use async functions inside a trait but we have a crate to support this I think uh, the rust team is trying to implement this feature in uh, rust standard library but as of now uh, we can work around this through a Async rate. So let us. Uh, we know that we need to have a runtime as well. So let's import the common values runtime in Rust, which is Tokyo. But you can use async std as well or any other runtimes. Um, let's give 1.16 as the version and features full so when we are working with any async uh, functions in rust we need a runtime so that's why we are uh, importing tokyo and another thing is since we are we want async functions in our traits we need this um, sync trait create uh, support so let's import this as well okay. now uh, what we want to do is 
we need to to attribute this with a sync sync. So I hope this will make sure that yeah, it's working. Working. Let's let's build this then. Let's build this then. It is working. Sure, but let's see. Yeah, it should not work. Okay. Oh, no, this should be the score. Yeah, so um, in even though the car code is hyphen. Uh, the crate is like async hyphen crate, but when it comes to uh, the program, we have to make it as underscore. Um, but still, yeah, why it's again saying it's built again? I think because of this function in this trait cannot be declared. Think. yeah it's still not agreeing so the reason for that is we implemented this for a uh, type without async create, create uh, attribute so let's try to pull this And as we know, we need to change the implementation also here. Yeah, now we see what is the duplex trait is. Yeah, import async rate, fine. Put it. What this say? Yeah, future cannot be sent between thread safely. Yeah, this is another thing. Uh, if when we are writing a sync function, we need to make sure that it is sent, it is implemented with the send trait to make sure that it is can be sent safely through the, the threads. So, uh, for that, what we need to do is we need to add send. Let's let's try. Yeah, it, we should have a parenthesis. Let's have a parenthesis to send is. Why it should be capital send? Yeah, okay, capital send. Then okay. expected pointer thus. Uh, let's make it as sync as well. Oh, thing is, we did not uh, keep those things here. Yeah. So let's keep all those things here as well. Send sync. Oh, uh, still some error. Oh, uh, this is Boolean. Why 
understand what we're doing here. Yeah, now it's expected a pin future. So here we need to start converting this to um, Tokyo uh, async world. So what we can do is let's convert from the main itself. We need to convert this to main uh, async. So it's easy. Uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to attribute it with Tokyo main that will uh, internally create uh, uh, pass this to a runtime and even block it before uh, exiting this so that is what talk you mean so basically we are getting a main function um, why it's failed to resolve could not find talk here really uh, Yeah, I think uh, that's because we do nothing here. I think you us in here. And also, we need to have top await. So we are converted this this to nothing main function and we are calling this and waiting for it uh, and since we are using an wait on that we need to convert this to a nothing function yeah this is okay this should be okay let to me is not pinned. Wait. Yeah, we we didn't did not wait here. Um, we need to wait. Then only we will get the boolean, right? If we are making it as a Actually, uh, actually, yeah, we need to call this and wait for it until we get a boolean and we are passing that boolean back as a future and we can wait on that future as well. So till that it's fine, you fix no unnecessary async. Yeah, we cannot. Yes, why this chose for why it is still failing? Well, we can do a carpet check and see if it's really failing or not. Yeah, I could not find main, could not find main. Why you cannot see main? Do I need to? Do I need to use? Okay, let me try to use. Use. Okay. Um, hello, that's the. I don't know. Really. Yeah, but load is not there. We adjust to all. Oh, it will be a huge compilation. Um, 
so I think it's not working let's see uh, what we have here Tokyo mail pink function name Let's do this. Password equals invoke. So call dot output let's see uh, whether they're still fixing no I let's see may function me okay me Uh, async function, async function invoke. Tokyo main. Oh, maybe we need to switch it as nightly. Uh, check. I'm checking whether what is the portion rust. Details. Rest up on which version? Version. I'm just checking what is the version I have installed. Let's bring this here. How to check uh, check the version of Rust installed? Okay, it will be Rust B Rust C version. nightly it's nightly nightly should work oh features spelling is wrong oh my goodness why it is not finding oh man it's worked yeah let's Yeah, clear and again cargo check. Checking a little bit of time. Let's wait. Yeah, it's compiled successfully. Uh, let's run it. Yeah, it might take a few minutes. Let's wait. Okay, yeah, it's got compiled and we got the result as true. Same as before. So basically, we converted the program fully into an asynchronous world uh, with the Tokyo runtime. And 
only to summarize this we need to use the async trait in order to use async functions inside a trait rust trait and uh, we also need to make sure that um, our function parameters function that we are passing that fn rule trait um, that we need to convert to that we need to make sure an additional traits are added to that which should be sent and sync let's see if I remove sync will it work or not I doubt but let's see yeah reference see captured value is not sent because ref ampersand reference cannot be sent unless they are referent is sync yeah since we are referring this this ampersand self and we are using it here i think we need to have sync as well so this you will pretty much see all all async programs in rest these two traits plus and plus sync yeah apart from that it's pretty much the same implementation we need to use async trait again and we need to pull the async function define the async function we put it in the trait uh, it's pretty much the same only thing is we need to add these things and this is same no change between async and uh, uh, normal rust world and invoke we need to convert this as an async function because we are using it in tokyo runtime so we need to convert this to an async and since we are returning it as returning a boolean we need to wait for it and make sure that we are getting a boolean so the return type match with uh, what we have defined and use since this invoke is an async function we need to use a dot await let's see um, let's see if I'm not waiting here yeah it's a problem So what is this guy? This is my color dot call function. It's a uh, future for a boolean. Okay, so yeah, set. Yeah. Let's see. <coughs> the exact same thing in box box time feature time feature future output equal to boolean Two brackets, three brackets, a whole bracket. Yeah, in future, not in the scrub.
Okay, and now this so oh, this is coming with this lifetime problem. Okay. Yeah, uh, we will fix this in another video, but as of now, let it be with uh, pool itself. Right. We'll come back with this enhancement in another video. But only thing is, when you're giving a pool here, you need to make sure that you're waiting for it and completing that. Yep. Okay, we will run one more time. Okay. Yeah, true. So we will change this to this to four. Four. Run. It should be false. Yeah, false. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. We'll come back with uh, changing this uh, bold type to some that pin box thing. And removing this everything, I'll see whether it's working or not. But in some other video, okay. Thank you. It's all the time. Thank you. Bye.